Hey everyone, so this is Tamika Hall from TamikaHall.net and this is my closet wisdom. Yeah, you know this is something kind of that no holds barred type of thing that happens and I just happen to be hiding out in the closet because I'm home and the kids are home and you're going to hear them in the background. But it doesn't stop the fact that wisdom needs to flow from my lips. Okay, so listen, today I really want to talk about the three things that men do that really irk my nerves. I mean, these are things that really get on my nerves. And so for you men, this is going to be life changing for you because I'm sure if it gets on my nerves, I know it gets on all the other women in America. It gets on all of our nerves. Now, originally I did a video about something like this a couple of days ago, but I like my hair today. So. <laughs> enough of that back to the real issue okay number one the one thing that I cannot stand that men do is when you huck a loogie every five seconds there is not that much excess moisture in your body that you have to spit every time you take a walk huck. Sep, sep. it's disgusting I cannot stand it the other thing that I can't stand that a lot of men tend to do is that they feel like it's okay for them to pass gas it pass gas flagellate I, I don't know if that's a word but it really sounds like one so it should be flagellate fart whatever you want to call it um, around other people why do you feel like I want to be subjected to your air pollution person I don't like air pollution anyway but the last thing I want is to be near you when it's coming out of your hind parts right sir no I don't want that and then the other thing that I can't stand that men tend to do is like you'll be at a table and like they'll start kind of like doing this guttural thing like I don't know if they're clearing their throat or they're clearing like something in their nasal passage or something behind their ear. I don't know. But it's like that. I don't know. I, whatever it is. It's gross. Why do you have to do that? I will say this. My husband does not do that stuff. I feel like if that phrase was meant to be a good excuse for things, then you would have women plucking chin hair while they're talking to you. But guess what? We don't show you that because we don't want to show you what some of our flaws are. What about if I plop my feet inside of a big boiling thing of water and then I started scraping off the dead skin while you're munching on your banana or on your Chex Mix or your pork rind? Well, guess what? You're not going to want that to happen. You know why? Because it's gross, sir. It's gross. What about when you're on your bench press? and you're bench pressing. I walk next to you and I decide to just stand up and I just let one rip. Guess what? You're not gonna like that. You know why? Cause it's gross, but it is human nature, right? But guess what? That excuse doesn't work for everything. My disclaimer to you is to really think about those things that you do. And just because you feel like men just do it. So men, this is Tamika Hall telling you from Wednesday Closet Wisdom, think about those things that you're doing. And the dumb excuse that you give us that that's just something that men do. And you think about all the gross things that you don't know about that women do that we could be doing. And I'm telling you to stop it, sir. <laughs> this is Tamika Hall. And um, listen, pick up some more tips from TamikaHall.net. And uh, until next time, keep it clean. Please, don't keep it stanky. Keep it clean. Hey, don't forget to follow my show and subscribe.